But when we were talking about the burr on the side of the bullet, and the question, the next question we asked was, I think, I think Mark asked a question after I asked about the size. We go, did it affect the BC of the bullet? And the answer was yes. They didn't even stumble on it or they didn't even stutter about it. And we asked how much. They said as much as 5%. And I go, what would be interesting is if you guys would rerun this test again, can you factor in doing it at distance? Do Doppler radar testing. Do do a paper target at, at five or 600 yards. If that bullet was compromised by 5%, you're going to see it on the target at distance. You might not see it at short range, but you're going to see it at distance. So... My earlier statement, I don't think the style and number of grooves has any bearing on accuracy or barrel life for the most part. I do believe it does help fight bullet failure. And in this case, if it is helping the BC of the bullet in various ways, let's just say with the burr on the side of the jacket, that will help the flight of the bullet at distance and that will help your accuracy at distance. There's, if it, if the bullet's being compromised, there's, there's no way around it. It's got to be being affected. Yeah, that five uh, percent is massive. I mean, it's 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 a ma- it's a massive flyer. I mean, you're mm-hmm. losing a match for five percent, <laughs> right? Um, so I wonder if the precision difference between identical barrels is from the variable engraving on the bullet. You know, because I mean, at some point there's variables, correct? Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, literally, just one decimal place can 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 engrave the bullet differently you know because you know you can have two brother barrels and one can be a hummer barrel and the other one it's just an okay and there's barrel. different there's different things that can cause that too you know we, uh-huh. and i know we'll probably get into board groove sizes too there's different things that can affect the tune or the harmonics of the barrel and that's that, that's a pretty big window that we can say can be affected uh, you know, I always hear the comment by the bullet makers, or ammo makers, you'll hear the comment like bullets, powder, barrels. I think Jade even made it in one of your podcast or in one of the Hornady podcasts. He said that. And uh, they'll know what times where they'll put the barrel on a gun for testing, testing ammunition, testing bullets, and they're not getting what they want to see. But they know the barrel's not a problem. It's a combination of the components. Um, bullet sizes. We'll, we'll probably get into that. I'm probably getting ahead of you right now. But if you see a barrel, and I've seen it myself, I've seen 30 cal barrels. You know, the bore is a thou oversized and the groove's a thou oversized, 301, 309, or let's say a half a thou over max SAMI spec. The barrel shot good, but it didn't shoot great. And now you get into the whole thing of the ammunition and the bullets and everything else. So there's a lot of variables and everything that causes the tune of the gun. I do believe that the consistency in the barrels from one to the next, that goes to cut rifling. And I'm not, I'm not hacking on button barrels in a way or hammer forge barrels in a way. Every method can make a good barrel. Every method can make a bad barrel. You got to pay attention to what you're doing. But the consistency and the uniformity of sizes over the length of the barrel, the uniformity of twist, and going back to that, that first one, um, the more stress-free the steel and the straight of the blank, the more forgiving the barrel is going to be. It's going to be more forgiving from, from, you know, if you buy four barrels from one to the next, they're going to be more forgiving. And that, that goes back to uniformity with the barrel itself.